Welcome to this tutorial on data visualization in Power BI. Power BI is a set of features that allow you to visualize data within Excel. There are three main parts that we'll go through in this tutorial. The first of these is Power Query, and the next ones that we'll go through are Power View and Power Map. Now, if you don't already have these, the easiest way to do it is to just look it up on, right on Google. And right here for 2013 Excel, you can click this, I'll take you to a download link. You can do the same for Power Query, and Power View comes with standard Excel. The first we'll go through is Power Query. Power Query allows us to import data from a number of different sources, such as searching online for data sets, importing from a specific URL, or from a file such as Excel or CSV, or from a database such as SQL Server, if you know it, or from any other source that you may know how to use. You can also take it from tables or merge tables or append them as well from here. For this example, we'll use the online search. Here we'll do GDP per capita. And from here, we'll see our results. If you hover over it, it will show you what to expect. Here we'll use this one. Now it will import into your spreadsheet. And this is what it should look like. Here we have our countries as well as our GDP per capita in here. So next we'll move on to the next part of Power BI, Power View. This is an interactive report, meaning the user can interact with it and change what they see depending on what they want to see. Here we can add titles, GDP per capita, and here it will show you a table here is our data set, and from here is our is our values, our factors, as well as you can import more tables as well. You can also control the layout of it and what data to involve. If you don't want the country, then you can filter through it, which we'll show you a little bit later, or you can directly change it from here. Now, you can import these into the filter. And what this will do is filter through your tables so you can directly select which data points you want to see. Such as the different countries for our example you can shift through them and show us which countries we want to know specifically. You can also use filters in conjunction with each other to further move through your data and to really drill down into what you really need, which will be important later. You can also change the layout of how you show your data. For now, we're using tables, but you can also convert them into other things such as bar charts, column charts, or other things such as line scatter or pie charts. Here we'll use a pie chart. And what you'll see is all of our values here in our pie chart. But you'll also see this message that says too many values. What we need to do is filter through it so that the pie will be able to fit the values that we want. Otherwise, it won't show us. It'll show us the first few, which probably isn't what we want. So that is how you use Power View. Next on, we'll use Power Map. What Power Map is, is that it's an interactive map for geographical data. Here it is. We'll just click on that, and it'll take a little while to load. How long this will take will really depend on your computer, as well as how large your data set is. Now, once it shows up, it'll show you this geographical map of the world. From here, we first have to choose our geography, depending on our values and factors. Here, it's country and region, which is fine, but you can also use, tree, use streets and whatnot. Next, we'll actually import our data. Here, GDP per capita. What you'll see is that it'll start popping up on the, right on the map. Here's our little key. And it's all over the map, depending on our data set. But you'll also notice that it's also in a bar chart. There are a bunch of columns and bars, depending on the countries that we specified. Now you can also change this. Here, you can change it to bubbles, if that's what you need. And it'll show you the big old bubbles on the map. Or you can change the heat maps. And the darker the color, the brighter, the thicker. And, or you can go by regions, which in this case would be, would be countries. Now this is a bit intensive. So you, your computer might be a little bit slower. But you can also add map labels, which for us would be the map and country names. 
You can also use a flat map if that's what you need. It'll just show everything rather than on 3D, it'll show you right on the flat map. Now you can also add layers in case one isn't enough, so you can really zoom in and drill down into your data. And you can also choose your themes of your map if you don't quite like the look of it. And while you're doing this, you can play a tour of your map in case you're making a presentation. You can play the tour and then you can add more scenes or create videos or just cap your entire screen. And that is how you visualize data in Power BI. Thank you for watching.